don't seem good. You seem tired. I want to hear a brave one. How's everyone doing? That's a better one. Okay. Okay, test yourself. So my name is Moses Rogers Mbaga. I'm 13 years old and I've just currently finished my primary education and I actually do software programming. I'm a coder but in profession. Not, I call myself in profession because I like coding. <laughs> so what I actually did is I thought of an idea of actually solving a challenge that I'll explain later and came up with Test Yourself, which is a mobile application, Android based, that will help students assess themselves, do various tests, get scored, and get their corrections. So the mission is actually putting education in the palm of every Tanzanian student by having various tests on your mobile phone instead of actually carrying books or buying books. You can just have them in your mobile phone like 12 to 13 MBs app. The problem. Uh, the problem is I saw that there was no access or even if there was, but it was very minimal access to have various tests and exams, like you have to buy them. And I remember there's this book we actually call Test Yourself, which has been there for years. People used to call it Yipime. So it was there a long time, but the price is like 30,000, I, I guess. But here you can have it for them as now just to motivate people. We're gonna make it free, but sometime next year it's gonna be like minimum amount, maybe 1,000 per month or yearly subscription. Solution, developing a mobile app that will help students improve their knowledge and problem solving skills. Now, I was expecting my expecting outcome is seeing the app being used by every student in their schools, even government students, because as, as it is for now, it's only English version, but the Swahili version is currently in development. And we're in partnership with NECTA, so they'll be giving us the teachers then they'll be posting the questions to the app, then they'll be seen and can be done. Milestones. So in the beginning of April, I started developing the app. Mid-June of this year, I actually went to Nectar. They gave me their inputs. I did various changes to the app. At first it was very messy, like so messy. But now, according to the inputs, it's better, like good for everyone to use. October this year is final touches, you know, those legal matters, whatever you can do to the app to perfect it to the best of the best level. Then we are planning to actually launch the app uh, this year in uh, November. How it works. As you see in the pictures, so after you log in, you have subjects, uh, math, English, Kiswahili, science, and social studies. Then you just select the subjects, you get the tests, you select the tests, you attend the questions, then you then you get your score. So you, you can get your score, but according to the screen size, I couldn't get the bottom, but actually in the scores space, 
below you see your corrections. So if you got right, you got wrong, you'll see all of them. Now, coming to the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, I expect and I also advise the Tanzanian government and Ministry of Education and education stakeholders to actually evolve to technology in primary schools, secondary schools, high schools, because you might find like a person in secondary school but doesn't even know how to switch on a computer. And not only in government, I'm actually going to even private. You might find someone in secondary level but doesn't even know how to switch on a computer. And I know there are many people who are like me or even higher than what I have, but don't have the access to technology. So I'm um, advising the government to have something like this evolving to the fourth industrial revolution. Thank you for your time, I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to see the app becoming a success. Thank you.